Hi guys, uh, Sean here. I thought I'd just show you a stick that I just uh, finished uh, sanding down and uh, and uh, got it all finished up here with some spar varnish. This is a wild lilac or orange eye butterfly bush. It's a real pretty wood here. Uh, this stick's been drying out for the last couple of years and I just got around to finishing it off here. I hit it up with some boiled linseed oil and um, mineral spirits, 50-50 mix, and then uh, once I got a couple coats of that on it, then I just finished it up with a spar varnish. That stuff grows wild down uh, down at the river, uh, just down the road from mine, my place here, and uh, it. Uh, I'll show you a stick actually that's uh, rough and, and just harvested. I just picked this up here the other day, and uh, it's a very thick, heavy, dense wood. Um, and a very very flaky bark on it actually the bark just flakes right off but what's nice is once you get the outer bark peeled off here it has this nice inner bark and uh, I don't know if the camera really picks it up that well but I guess it does and you just sand that down and then of course you get the uh, in contrast you get the underneath the uh, bark there you've got the wood showing through and so and so I just thought I'd uh, do a quick video here on it, all finished up and so on. Almost looks like a a duck's head, doesn't it? But it turned out quite nice. Just have to be a little bit careful drying it because uh, when the sap's running, of course, uh, if you harvest these sticks, uh, they will um, they will split and crack if you're not careful. But this time of year, actually, the uh, the lilac isn't out yet, and uh, so it's uh, actually uh, it's a good time to harvest them. And uh, so I went out the other day and ended up getting, uh, I don't know, three or four of these, uh, these uh, free form, as I like to call them, canes. And like I say, here's one, uh, here's one here. And I'm going to give this some drying time. It's still pretty heavy. I think it's still reasonably wet, though. And uh, then what I'm going to do is uh, I'll sand it all down and uh, get to the inner bark and, and do something with this one as well. So. They're a solid, solid piece for sure. You know, they're uh, these ones. They just kind of grow up off the main stem of the uh, the bush, and uh, I'm quite happy with the way this one turned out here. So it's uh, I don't think I can sell this one. I think I'm going to hang on to this actually. I just hit it with my orbital sander and some sandpaper here along the uh, along the, the main shaft here, and uh, it's surprising actually. Uh, how it came out there. I've never seen anything quite like it uh, before. I had this fish bonker I made out of one years ago but I, I dried it out too quickly and it split to rat but uh, this one here I was very very careful drying it out and uh, lo and behold it did a pretty pretty decent job of holding together here and didn't split at all so but uh, nice walking walk, walk stick here. It's a little bit tall for me I'd have to shorten it up a bit, but I wasn't sure uh, how short I wanted to, to make it here, so I just left it kind of its full length. And uh, we'll see uh, as time goes on there uh, what length I want to cut it to and so on. So, But anyway, there it is. Uh, wild lilac, or as it's sometimes known around here, orange eye butterfly bush. You can look it up on the internet if you're curious. It just grows rampant almost like uh, blueberry or blackberry bushes up here in Canada so there we go thanks very much for watching